Good evening. It's our top story tonight. Four Springfield restaurants who continue to serve customers indoors despite having their food service licenses suspended now closing because of a judge's ruling. News Channel 20's Alyssa Hui spoke to a manager at one of these restaurants and shares the impact that this is going to have on their business. Alyssa. John and Stacy, that's exactly right. Earlier today, a judge ruled in favor of the Sangamon County Health Department, stating that four local restaurants did in fact violate county code. They were continuing to serve customers despite having their food service license suspended over the weekend. Four restaurants, Charlie Parker's, D&J Cafe, Fox Run, and Sweet Basil Cafe will have to close their doors. This comes after the Sangamon County Health Department, represented by the county state's attorney, proved that these four establishments violated county code by continuing to serve customers despite not having a valid food service license. Local restaurant managers say while this was the outcome, they don't agree with the judge's ruling. We're going to just follow the court order and you know, hopefully try to work it out with the health department. I still disagree with their decision. Owners say the ruling to close completely with no room for outdoor dining or curbside will have a huge financial impact to their business. We carry about $50,000 worth of food on our shelves. Here I've got to throw away $35,000 worth of food. Um, I don't think that's right. An attorney representing D&J's Cafe says while he doesn't agree with the ruling, the restaurants must follow the judge's orders. I think her ruling, although I disagree with it, I think she was well-reasoned and, and took everything into consideration. A fifth restaurant, Casa Real, also received a food service license suspension on Sunday, but because they complied with the Sangamon County Health Department, their license was reinstated. They will be allowed to serve customers outdoors or through curbside, but restaurant owners who have to close completely say they want to work with the health department so they can continue to serve their customers through these options as well. My hands are tied. The only thing I can say is, you know, uh, hopefully they'll give me a temporary order to let me reinstate so that I'm not throwing the food away and people are not out of a job. We tried to get a comment from the state's attorney but did not receive one at the time. Both sides will come back to court on December 3rd to determine whether or not these restaurants can have their food service license reinstated. Now, if it is reinstated, they will have the opportunity to serve customers through outdoor dining, curbside or delivery. Reporting live in Springfield, Alyssa Hui, News Channel 20. Thanks, Alyssa, for that update. And of course, we will share more updates about this as they become available.